Hello and welcome to Morn High Governor News for Tuesday, September 13th, 2016. I'm Ulyssa Cruz. And I'm Travio Gibbs. Will everyone please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey freshmen, class of 2020, if you haven't been to a class meeting yet, you're going to miss out on the fun. You can come to the next meeting today with Ms. Jones and Mrs. McMillian. We need your help to decorate and do our first fundraiser for class of 2020. Please join us in room 220 after school to catch up on what we're doing. Come on freshmen, don't miss the fun. The chess team will not be meeting during advisory this year. Instead, those who are interested in playing should go to Mr. Travis's classroom. Room 227 after school on Mondays and Tuesdays starting this week from 2.40 to 4 o'clock p.m. Our first tournament is September 24th at Purdue Northwest, so everyone should start practicing as soon as possible. Seniors and sophomores, there will be a homecoming work sessions in room 247 every day after school through Friday, September 16th. They will start at 2.30 and end at 4 o'clock. Come on and get your spirit on. Need some spirits to wear to add to your uniform wardrobe? The cheerleaders will be selling t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeves this week. Order forms are available in your GovTime classes and in Ms. Taylor's room. Return your order from return your order form and cash only payment to Ms. Taylor's room in room 221 and only items that are paid for will be ordered. Purdue University Northwest is hosting its annual college fair tonight from 6 to 7.30 p.m. There are over 90 participating colleges and universities. For more information, go to the counselor's webpage or stop in the guidance office for a flyer. The call-out meeting for Morton's Book Club will take place on today at 3.25 p.m. in the Library and Media Center. If you enjoyed reading and talking about books with others, please stop by for more club information. Need a place to stay for a rainy day? The Governor's Student Credit Union opens Thursday, September 15th during lunch. Open your savings account with just a dollar and completed application. Checking and debt cards are available to students 16 and older. Be sure to stop by the credit union counter next week during your lunch. We plan on kicking off the new year with a lot of fun prizes for the students. Any student who opens a new account or makes a deposit to their existing account will spin the wheel and win a prize, minimum deposit required. Indiana University at Bloomington will be in the cafeteria today during the lunch period. Stop and see what this college has to offer. Any junior who wants to help with hall decorations should be in the junior locker bay on Friday, September 16th after school. The theme is Candyland. So please, come with ideas and decorations. If you are interested, please see Miss Miss in room 125. The first 300 students will receive free back-to-school supplies at the 16th Annual Back-to-School Jamboree in Indiana University Northwest on Saturday, September 17th from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. It will feature three-on-three basketball, video game competitions, free haircuts, movies and music, video, double dutch, jump roping, dancing, carnival games, and finger painting. Refreshments will be served. Admission is free to the event but there is a team fee for the basketball tournament. Attention all seniors interested in attending Indiana University Bloomington. If you have at least a 2.7 GPA or higher, meet a financial guideline and will have met the minimum college preparatory classes, then you may qualify for the Group Scholars Program. For more information, see Mrs. Nieves after school in the guidance department. Student IDs have been distributed. All students should be wearing a school issue ID visibly around his or her neck on the lanyard. Any student who is not present for picture day on August 18th will be issued a temporary ID in the guidance office. The consequence for not wearing your school ID is a detention. So picture retakes for new students will be October 3rd. Attention all students, there is a home volleyball game tomorrow evening. Be sure to come out and support your Lady Govs. And now here's with some red and white, gray, all the way tickets is Mr. Barlow. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. To Mrs. Porter, Ms. Walsh, Ms. Malone, Ms. Uh, Markinick, and Mr. Lush for Ms. Herring. Thanks for making the classroom look great, taking on added responsibilities and being positive role models for our students. 
uh, to Gloria Canelo, Khadija Harper, and Ashley Connerly from Mrs. Turner. She says, uh, they helped me with my bulletin board. Thank you, ladies. Uh, to Ms. Taylor and Mrs. Melman from Mrs. Elliott. Thanks for always helping me with whatever I need to learn the ropes and being so nice all the time. That's fantastic. Uh, to Elizabeth Dutro from Mrs. Knight. Thank you, Elizabeth, for being a great classroom helper. Uh, to Mr. Danko from Mr. Jagadish. Uh, thanks for covering my class while I ran to grab a Chromebook cart and entertain the class with his tales of plantar fasciitis. <laughs> thanks to the special ed department from Mr. Grice uh, for making me feel welcome at a new school. Uh, everyone has been great to work with. Uh, it's fantastic, guys. Keep them coming, man. I love reading these. Let's just keep the positivity going. Thanks, Mr. Barlow. Great job. Lunch options today include double-decker beef tacos, beefy spaghetti, cheeseburger, turkey sandwich, stuffed crust pepperoni pizza, buffalo crunchers, chef salad, or a yogurt box. That's all the news for today. Remember, you can always watch the news straight from the Morton High webpage. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.